Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another recipe video. So today I'm going to bring you a couple of snacks. So I have a sweet snack and I have a savory salty snack. So whichever one you are craving, I got you covered in this video. So the first one I'm going to show you are going to be some crunchy apple chips. And these will be zero points because it's just apples. Well, let me show you what I have here first. So I have some apples that are sliced really thin. Now I have made these before. And before I just cut them with a knife and um, and very just as thin slices as you can get. I this week I did pick up a mandolin slicer. This was only eight dollars at Big Lots. I don't know how much they are at Walmart. I just happened to see this and knew I was gonna be making this video, so I thought it'd be great. I it works really really well. I give this very high reviews. I'm just scared of the dang thing and my husband did it for me so I just I don't know I'm so scared of cutting myself it does have a guard but with like the next recipe I will be showing you it it's hard to use the guard with the with it with the vegetables so anyway it did work good for the apples the apples I'm using are golden delicious because it is what I had in my refrigerator I don't I they did tear a little bit when we are cutting it with it I think it's because they Golden Delicious tends to be a little bit of a softer apple, but I think like the Fuji and the Pink Ladies that are really nice and crunchy, they would be work perfect with the mandolin. But I have used Red Delicious, Pink Lady, and Golden Delicious in this recipe, and all of them are good. So you'll need some apples. I have in here about four small apples. Let me show you the size that they were. They're about this size right here. So I think there's about four or five in here. I can't remember exactly. One, two, three, four, five. Five. I did. He did five of them for me. So they're they're a little bit smaller of an apple. I just I had some apples in there, and I thought of this recipe. And so I haven't made them in a while. So I thought I'd show it to you. So apples, and then some kind of sweetener of your choice. I'm using Splenda, um, stevia, even regular sugar if you want the points works. It doesn't matter. Or you can do it with any of them if you don't want them to be sweetened. I just prefer them with some kind of sweetener. So I have a little bit of Splenda in there. It's probably, it's, I have the individual packets. There are five individual packets in here. And then some ground cinnamon. So I'm just gonna sprinkle the sweetener over top here and just kind of, the apples themselves are already sweet and when you bake them they get really sweet. So some people may not want the sweetener. It's just completely up to you how you feel about sweeteners. I personally, I'm okay with them, and I just, I didn't core these because once they bake, it's e easy to eat around them. I did one time core them and do it, and it was a pain, so when I made them again, I didn't do it, so I am going to wiggle these around, and then you want a cookie sheet of the largest one you have, depending on how many you're making. I have um, foil on here. The last time, I did use parchment paper on there, but you have them in the oven for so long that it started to kind of burn and smell burnt so I'm just gonna lay these out as close together so this is the biggest cookie sheet I have and normally I would do two cookie sheets but I'm using the other one for the other re recipe okay so and you want to just sprinkle the cinnamon on top as little or as much as you like I just do it on the one side. And you could do this with another thing that I have done this for. The last time I made these and I'm out, so I didn't use it. Pumpkin pie spice is so good on this. I usually use pumpkin pie spice in place of anything that says cinnamon anyway. So I'm just out of it. Okay, cinnamon on, so that's what they look like. So these will go into the oven in the 225 degree oven for 90 minutes and then you flip them and then you put them in there for another hour and then you turn off the oven and you leave them in there all day preferably overnight mine will be in there overnight and then the next clip that you will see will be them being in there overnight and I will show them to you and show you how crispy they get um, then I now put all these instructions in the in the description box below so these we're going to go into the oven and let me set up for the next part of this recipe.
Okay, so the savory salty snack that I'm going to show you next are salt and vinegar zucchini chips. Now this is something new. I have not tried these before, but I saw these and I thought, oh, they sound really good. So here I have some thinly sliced zucchini. I have two zucchinis. I have the other ones in here. I just need to um, mix up the olive oil and stuff. I don't know how many points these are going to be yet, but I'll know by tomorrow when, um, well, you'll see it today in this video, but... Um, I'll know by the end of this video how many points because I'll plug it into the recipe calculator. So you need two zucchini, you need one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, or you can use red wine vinegar, it also said on there. Um, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, and then just some salt and pepper. And I'm using kosher salt and then just regular pepper. So you mix all that into a little bowl little dish so I have that in here and then you just sprinkle it over the zucchini so I'm just gonna do a little bit here grab some tong and I'm just gonna pour the rest that I have here oh and I should mention that I did, did spray both of the cookie sheets for the apples and the zucchini with some cooking spray the rest of that in there and I put in about a quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper so but it would definitely be whatever your taste level is for these okay so again just like the apples you know I to take a cookie sheet with or parchment paper, either one works. And then you're just going to lay these out evenly on the sheet here. And again, I haven't made these before, so I'm not. Sh I, I'm assuming just like the apples, you probably don't want to make. Sh you want to make sure they are not overlapping. But I am having them touch. There they are all lined up on there and again I had about this many left over so I will probably again just I'll put put these on another cookie sheet with the apples and just finish that up okay so instructions for these same thing 225 degree oven and then you bake them for two to three hours so since the apples are an hour and a half and then you flip them then you do another hour that is 150 minutes so yeah and then so it'll be the same amount of time and I'm just gonna do the same thing with the zucchini it doesn't say that in the recipe to, um, to to leave them in the oven overnight but I'm going to I think that it'll allow for a lot um, crispier chip so um, I the next clip you'll see will be them being in there for overnight so yeah we'll see you then Hi hey everyone, so it is the next morning and so I have my zucchini chips and my apple chips all out. So let's start with the apple chips because these, of course, like I said, I've made these before. They worked really good. They're really crispy. That's the cinnamon on top. These ones didn't burn at all. Um, the only thing I say was make a lot of them because this is all, well, I've eaten a few yesterday to test the um, crispiness and then one or two this morning but other than that I would say just make a lot because this is all that you know five little apples made so now the zucchini chips I'd never made these before this is a new recipe I saw on Pinterest I wouldn't call it necessarily a fail I mean you could they're not as crispy I mean some of them are so here's the thing I think 225 degrees is too hot I think it should only be 200 the apples originally, the original recipe was 200, but since I was cooking them together and this said 225, I'd never made it before. I went ahead to do 225. So the apples actually this time came out a lot crispier than when I used to do them on 200. So I think I'll do 225 from now on on the apples. But with the zucchini, and I, well, the thing I found out is my oven cooks really uneven. Never noticed that before in anything. It didn't do it with the apples, but with these, it really did like half the cookie sheet was like this. 
this one's not too wet though, yeah. And then half of them were like this. So, um, yeah, it just, and okay, so that's the first thing is that I think it should only be 200 degrees. So if you try them, I would try them at 200 degrees. Secondly, um, there's not a lot of vinegar flavor, so I would increase the vinegar. This original recipe called for four zucchini and two tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar. I think that I would definitely, if I were to only do two zucchini again like this was, I would definitely do two tablespoons of vinegar. And they're a little bit oily too, so I think I would cut down on oil. I don't think you need that much oil. Um, I don't know if the oil was just for coating with the salt. I'm not sure. So I would, um, I'll put the original recipe down below for these, um, but, and I'll put a little note on there too as a suggestion to double the apple cider vinegar and to half the olive oil. But other than that, I mean, they have a good flavor, just mostly tastes like a, just salt. It, it just, that's all you can really taste is the salt. You can't really taste the, the vinegar at all. I was really hoping for more of a really strong vinegar taste, like salt and vinegar potato chips. But these, I highly recommend making the apple chips. They're easy. Like I said, the only thing is, is that it doesn't make a lot. So <laughs> you, if you have a lot of apples you need to use up, or, you know, that you find someone sell, especially this fall when apples are in season, I would definitely suggest these. So thank you for watching, and again, I will have um, the two recipes for these um, linked down below with my notes on them. And thank you for watching, and I will see you next week in another recipe video. Bye.